Here we are with Cassidy at the screening of the gals. How does it feel to be here? It's surreal. I can't even begin to tell you. To think where we started just here in Fresno and to actually kick off this whole tour and releasing it worldwide here where we started, where the whole journey began and then progressed, it's, it's amazing. And we're all kind of pinching ourselves. We wouldn't want to start it any other way. You guys have been so supportive. It works out. You know, scary movies are real popular. What separates this from other movies? Horror movies or just in general? In general. Honestly, it's so real. It's relatable. You'll see. I mean, there's diff it's pretty much four kind of stereotypical characters that everyone can pretty much relate to that they met in high school. It takes place in a high school. We've all pretty much been there, going to be there at some point, you know, and it's all the characters pretty much sum up at least a part of you that you felt. Other you to pick pieces from each one. You know, it's like you watch it and you feel like this is not like another horror movie where you're, the whole time you're rolling your eyes thinking whatever, like, it really does kind of make you put yourself in their shoes and think like, wow, like I heard a rumor when I was little at my high school, you know what I mean? Like everyone heard something, you know? We all had these different superstitions that we heard growing up. So the fact that it kind of makes you question like your, what, your own beliefs and what you think. Well, even being on set, did you ever psych yourself out? Like, oh my God, is this really happening? I didn't have to psych myself out. There were like a lot of scary moments on set. We shot at the Veterans Memorial downtown. And it was, it was crazy. It was a big building. It's an old building. So it was, there was a lot of creaks and a lot of sounds and 90% of the time, it was a really, really small cast and crew. So we didn't have, like, everyone was accounted for. It's like you could literally do a head count. And so if you heard a sound somewhere, it's like, we're all here. There's no one else here. And a lot of times, we'd be standing on the theater stage, and everyone that was a part of the production would be there. And we'd hear, like, chains being dragged upstairs. And I'm not superstitious. And it freaked me out. Like, there are a lot of times that I just wouldn't go anywhere by myself. So now you're a believer. I don't know what I believe, but all I know is that weird things can happen and that, like, I just, I don't want to mess with that stuff. Well, speaking of high school, is there anything that tripped you or that scared you in high school, tests, teachers? Oh my gosh. Well, there was one time that I walked out of the bathroom in my, like, kilt, I had a uniform, and it was tucked into my underwear. So I think that has mortified me. I don't know if that's scary, but it was scary enough for me because girls can be cruel, and that was miserable. I think that goes through high school with you the rest of your life. Oh, well, thank goodness it happened like my junior year, so I only had like a year and a half to live with it, but apparently I'm still bringing it up, so I'm still living with it. But yeah, no, I mean, high school's a crazy time. I feel like everyone has scary moments, you know? It's that they're such formative years that you grow up so much, but in my lower school, I think I was definitely scared because we had to sleep over one night. And like, there, of course, like just like in the gallows, there are superstitions that happened in my high school, and like, we are all being in our sleeping bags, like telling each other scary stories. And like, you convince yourself, like the mind plays tricks on you and you definitely convince yourself of certain things. Totally, well, I read that in Esquire Magazine named one of the most beautiful women to look forward to of the summer. How's that feel? I'm seriously waiting for them to issue a retraction. Like, I don't know where that came from. I think they're talking about someone else. Like, I'm just so humbled by it. Like, it was the sweetest thing in the world. But when my mom called me and told me, I actually didn't believe her. I thought she was messing with me because I don't know, I just, I don't, this is very sweet and I'm incredibly grateful, but I don't think of myself that way at all. Well, congratulations, you deserve it all, and uh, congratulations to Gallows, and I hope it goes great. Thank you so much, I appreciate your guys' time, I hope you guys like it. Go check out the Gallows in theaters now. Thank you.